Hi guys! Welcome to Know Math. My name is Sir Bench Antonio. And in this video, we will discuss solving quadratic equation by factoring. And this lesson is intended for high school mathematics, especially for grade 9 students. If you are not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. So before we discuss the lesson, let us review first what is quadratic equation. A quadratic equation is in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2. It is also called a second degree equation where the highest exponent is 2. This equation is, can be written in the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where the values of a, b, and c are all real numbers. There are four ways to solve quadratic equation. First, by extracting square root. Second one is by factoring. Next is by completing the square. And lastly, by using the quadratic formula. In this lesson, we will focus on the lesson on how to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. There are different types of equation that, that we can solve a quadratic equation through factoring. First is through what we call the common monomial factor. The second one is a general trinomial where A is equal to 1. And the other is a general trinomial where A is greater than 1. So let us try to solve some, uh, some equation that involves quadratic equation. I have here two examples that we can solve a quadratic equation through common monomial factor or common monomial factory. Number one, 4x squared plus 16x is equal to zero. For us to solve this kind of equation, first, we need to get the factors of each term. Let us get the factors first of the, or the factor first of the um, numerical coefficient 4 and 16. And the factor, or the common factor is 4. The common factor of x squared and x is x. After getting the common factor of the terms, we now divide the given to the common monomial factor. 4x squared divided by 4x, that will give us x. 16x divided by 4x, that will give us positive 4. So therefore, we will equate it to 0. And these two factors will be now equate both to 0 for us to solve the quadratic equation. So 4x is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. So for us to get the first solution, divide both sides by 4, that first solution is equal to 0. The second solution is to transpose the positive 4, and that will become negative 4. And that is our second solution. Okay, let us now proceed with the second example. We have 5x squared minus 15x is equal to 0. So again, first get the common factor of each terms, 5x squared and negative 15x, and that is 5x. After that, we will divide both terms on the common factor. 5x squared divided by 5x, and that is x. Negative 15x divided by 5x, and that is negative 3 equals 0. Again, equate both to 0, 5x equals 0, and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Divide the first factor by 5 for us to get the first solution, which is equal to 0. And the second factor, x minus 3 equals to 0, transpose negative 3, that the second solution will become positive 3. And these are now the two solutions of our quadratic equation. Take note that the quadratic equation is a secondary equation. Therefore, we have two solutions. We have two values of x. 
The other type of quadratic equation that can be solved by factoring is a general trinomial. So let's start first with a is equal to 1, where the value of a is only 1. So what are we what are we to do with this is we will factor the first term and the third term. First, let us factor x squared. So we have x times x. And let us factor the third term 12. So let us enumerate or list the factors of 12. We have 1 times 12. We have 3 times 4 and 2 times 6. In this case, since that the third term is a negative or subtraction, we need to find factors of 12 that if we subtract, we will obtain the middle term, which is positive 4. So in these three factors, 2 and 6 are the best factors for us to obtain the middle term, that is 2 and 6. Since the middle term is a positive, we will now write the positive sign on the larger value of the two factors, which is 6. And the other one will be a negative. So these are now the two factors of the given trinomial, x minus 2 and x plus 6. And with that, we will now equate both factors to 0, x minus 2 equals to 6, and x plus 6 is equal to 0. So for us to get the two solutions, x sub 1 is equal to positive 2 by transposing on the other side, and x plus 6 is equal to 0, that will become second factor, or the second solution is x is equal to negative 6. So these are the two solutions. Next, number 2, x squared minus 14x plus 45 is equal to 0. Again, same process, we need to factor out the first term, which is x squared, x times x. And then we need to get the factors of 45. The factors of 45 is 1 times 45 and 9 times 5. Since that the third term is positive, we need to get factors of 45 that if we add, we will obtain 14. So since we have two factors of 45 here, we have also another factor of 45 which is 3 times 15. But 9 and 5 are the best factor for us to obtain the second term 14. So 9 and 5. Since the second term is a negative, we will write both sides or both factors as negative. So equate both factors to 0 x minus 9 is equal to 0, x minus 5 is equal to 0. The other explanation why we need to transpose negative 9 is by adding both sides, a positive 9, plus 9, plus 9, so that we can eliminate the negative 9 and x will remain as it is. So 0 plus 9, we have 9. So same thing that we are transposing on the other side by changing its sign. So instead of x minus 9, we will now have first solution as positive 9. The second solution, same thing, we add 5. Then we add 5, both sides of the equal sign, for the rule of equality. So we can now cancel 5 and negative 5 as it is 0. The second solution, x, we have now positive 5. So x sub 2 is positive 5. Right. Also, we have a general trinomial where a is greater than 1. This is also a quadratic equation that can be solved by factor. Notice on the first example, we have 2 as the value of a. On the second example, we have 6 as the value of a. Let us solve first number 1. We have 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. The first thing that we, will, that we will do with this is we will let a 
multiply first to letter C. And then after that, we will take it back after we factor it out. So by multiplying 2 to the value of C, we have now x squared plus 3x minus 9 minus 18 is equal to 0 as our new equation. And this new equation, we can now factor it out using the first example or the examples that we have a while ago. So factor out the first term, and that is x times x. Let us get the factors of 18. We have 1 times 18. We have 2 times 9 and 3 times 6. Since that the third term is a negative, we will need to find factors of 18 that once we subtract, we will obtain the second term, which is 3. So in this case, 3 and 6 are the best factor for us to use. So since that the middle term is positive, we will use that positive sign on the larger value of the factors. And the other one will become negative. So we have now these factors, x minus 3 and x plus 6. And in this time, we will now take back the value of a by dividing both sides by 2. So we have now x minus 3 halves is equal to 0 by equating both sides to 0. And we have now x plus 3 is equal to 0. So therefore, the two solutions, first x sub 1 by transposition method, we have now 3 halves. The other one is second solution by transposing positive 3, change the sign, we have now negative 3. And those are the two solutions for 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. Let us try the second example. Notice that on the second example, we have negative 3, or we equate it to negative 3. So we need to make it 0 first by subtracting 3 both sides, or adding 3 both sides, I mean. So for this one becomes 0. So we have now 6x squared minus 13x plus 6 is equal to 0. Right? So we have now a value again. So the first step that we need to do is to let a be multiplied to our c value. So 6 times 6, we have now 36. x squared minus 13x plus 36 is equal to 0. In this equation, we can now factor it out. So first term, factor x squared, we have x times x. Let us factor the last term. Let us list the factors of 36. We have 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 36. Since that it is a positive, we need to find factors of... Um, 36 that once we add, we will obtain the third term, or the second term, sorry, the middle term, 13. So, 4 and 9 are the factors of 36 that once we add, we can get 13. Since 13 is negative, we will write both as negative. So, x minus 4 times x minus 9 is equal to 0. We will now take back the value of a by dividing both sides by the value of a, 6. Simplify the fraction, x minus 2 thirds and x minus 3 halves is equal to 0. So let us equate both sides to 0. That if we're going to get the solutions, we have the first solutions of positive two-thirds. And the second solution is positive three-halves. Okay.
k. And that is how we're going to solve quadratic equation by factoring. And I have this math challenge for you guys. Solve for the roots of x squared minus 5x minus 35 is equal to negative 3x using factoring. If you know the answer, guys, just comment down below. If you're not yet subscribed on my channel, please hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Thank you guys for watching.